Hello, welcome back to the Mule4 tutorial. This is Akash, and in this video, we'll discuss about the domain project in Mule4. So there are a few differences as compared to Mule3, and we'll in this lecture we'll see what are the differences in Mule3 and Mule4 domain project, and also we'll see what are the similarities are there, and we'll implement one project with the domain project. So so let's get started. Before this, domain projects are basically used to share for shared resources. Let's say I have one connector over here in my first project, and I have another connector in project test project, and I want to give same configuration to the both the connectors. So what I will do is I will create one domain project. I will do my configuration in my domain project, and I will attach my domain project with these two projects. So I will show you how to attach the projects with the domain project and rest of the stuff. So to start with, we'll go and first create one domain project. We'll go to file, new, mule domain project. Well, I will create domain proj. I'll click on finish. So this is my domain project and this is my domain pro mule domain config.xml file. Here I need to define all my configuration. So in Mule 3, you you don't have this thing global element. You need to copy paste from configuration XML to 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 the domain project XML. But here you have the direct global element. You can select it and you can configure. But you can see there are many many, many things are not, not present over here. So for that, for each component or you can say the connector we need to add module so we'll click on manage module here and we'll click on add module and uh, you need to take the module from the exchange so you if you don't have log if you're not login just need to create and login with this add account and after login just need to search FTP let's say FTP I want to search so this is FTP connector mule 4. So I will add this. I will click on finish. This will download FTP connector on my local for that particular module on that part for the particular domain project. I click on apply. Now I will go to create and uh, in connector configuration I can see FTP config. I click OK. And here I will can provide my let's say my this is test dot admin dot twenty twenty one let's say test test working directory we'll say okay for now so here in this way we can define our configurations here's the FTP configuration and if I want to attach my project with this domain project, what I need to do is I need to right click on my project where we want where, where I want to attach my project. I will right click over here and I will go to properties. I will go to project, new project, and here you can see the domain. Here we need to change the domain. So my domain is domain proj. I will apply and close. So this project you can see attached with my domain proj. And uh, whatever configuration I have over there, I can use it over here also, the same configuration. So I will say FTP, let's say copy, FTP config. So in this way, we can create our domain project. We can associate domain project with any of our project so that there will be no redundancy in the configuration. We'll need to define one configuration at one location and we can use that the same configuration in all our project. So every time you want to add some configuration, you need to add the module for this particular configuration and you need to create configuration from here. So hope you understand this. Uh, this uh, video. So, see you next video. Thank you.